This project investigates data from the popular bike share system Hubway, deployed throughout the greater Boston area. Using Hubway's ridership history from the 2012 season, which spanned over 140 stations, 1,000 bikes, half a million trips, and half a million miles traveled, we aim to develop insight into how riders use the system and what improvements or adjustments we would suggest. We first looked at bike rentals every 30 minutes at South Station, the busiest Hubway location. Our goal was to see if we could use time series analysis to predict future demand at the station. Using an autoregressive model, based on the past five time steps, here is our prediction of demand over the next five 30-minute periods. Here is the actual demand for comparison. If we ran this simulation 500 times, here is the spread of our predictions. Next, suppose Hubway wanted to roll out bikes that charge a battery when pedaled. Where would be the best place to start them around Boston? We'd have 100 bikes tracked for one day, where the bikes charge while being pedaled, that have a battery that can store up to 2 miles worth of charge, and when a bike is returned, the energy stored is transferred to a central storage battery. After running simulated annealing, we found the following starting locations as optimal. Based on ridership trends, we wanted to infer possible expansion locations, so we used Gaussian processes to model the spatial influence each station had on each other. On the left, we have station rentals and returns. On the right, we have the influence. We notice there are barren areas in terms of influence in the Cambridge and North End, which would potentially benefit from new stations being added there. We also considered the problem of aligning pieces of scrambled ride data, where we do not know the stations nor time intervals that they come from. We used an optimization method similar to Gibbs sampling that alternately found the best station matches, then the best time matches. We found that aligning the data with the stations that they came from was easy, but that ride data from a given station is too random for this method to find its proper time alignment.